Hey, I wanted to do a quick little review of this gun. Um, it's the Ruger LCP2 380. It's perfect for like a, a pocket pistol, which is what I use it for. Uh, you're probably familiar with the LCP, the first one I came out with a few years back. Pretty good gun. Trigger was awful on it. And that was the main thing they've redone on this one was the trigger has been improved big time. It is not such a stiff, heavy pull on it anymore. Um, but yeah, it's a little single stack, obviously. Um, I know it's dirty. I got to clean it up. It's, it stays in my pocket all the time. But uh, it's just like the first one, really, with a better trigger. And it comes with this little sleeve you can put it in which is why I keep it in for now uh, yeah it's a nice little gun it's it's just like I said perfect for a throw in your pocket all right see you got six plus one nothing fancy there nothing out of the ordinary I'm gonna do a video on this ammo too it's called underwood ammo it's pretty cool uh, I found it online in order to box so I'll do one on that too, show it to you. Pretty good stuff. But yeah, this is the Ruger LCP2. Um, it's just like any other 380. You, I mean, for what it is, it's great for self-defense. Uh, it's not one you'd spend a lot of time shooting on the range, or at least I wouldn't. I mean, you can get two fingers on the gun. It's a nasty little gun to shoot, I mean, let's be honest. Um, the little extension here, that makes it, that does help when shooting. But basically, you can get two fingers on this gun. And it's just what they're made for. Throw in your pocket. Self-defense. Super cheap. I bought this one brand new for $250. Um, it doesn't come with anything, though, other than that little sleeve. It doesn't even come with an extra mag. But it's $250. It's, it's Ruger, so you know they're a good quality uh, company. And I fired mine several times. And cleaned it up you know basically just fired it once once after I got it cleaned it up and it's been in my pocket ever since but there's nothing nothing too crazy about it it's got a little bit of grip right here um, serrations in the back and the front and it's just your typical 380 6 plus 1 um, I was looking at the Smith & Wesson bodyguard I decided to go with this one only because it was a little better on the price and these 380s is about all the exact same thing. But just wanted to do a video, show you this one, and I'll try to get one done on that ammo soon. Appreciate it.